Hello everyone, uh, Barney and me are out today on a bit of a photo walk. We're in East Sussex and uh, we're in 500 acre wood at the moment and uh, yeah that's the one from the Winnie the Pooh books and uh, we're walking through the wood, we're going to sort of head up onto Ashdown Forest and do a bit of a round trip through sort of Hartfield. So it's about five miles or so, basically I'm just going to be using my medium format camera today uh, my Mamiya 7.2 and I've got uh, Portra 400 loaded up. Um, it's quite a bright day, it's quite shady under here obviously because we're in the woods. Um, so I've got a mixture of different lighting because once, once I come out of here it's going to be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty bright. Um, but yeah, just a, a leisurely trip and uh, see what I can get. So this first shot here is this root system, this tree root system that sort of spans the stream here. And uh, there was obviously some brickwork down there at one time, may have been a little bridge or something going across here. And the root system's kind of um, gone into that brickwork and that's since crumbled, but uh, they're still left there. There's fantastic textures and there's some lovely soft, subtle colors there. So I'm going to shoot it from above. I'm going to, I've stuck it on a tripod because it's probably going to be around about a second or so exposure because I want to shoot it about f8. So uh, yeah, I'll take a meter reading. It's pretty tight in here. I only have this one lens, so I can't go any wider. I would like to go a little bit wider, but it does, um, it does take in the whole span of this root system. So that's fine. And I'm actually going to shoot at uh, f11, it's half a second. So there we go. So while I'm here, I'm going to get a shot of this shelter as well. I'm just going to go and tie it with the rusted metal and we've got this circle going on. I'm just going to use about a quarter of it just to cut into the side of the image. So it looks good though. Yes, yeah, so I'm liking these ferns here. We've got, um, they're just starting to go over, so they're quite golden brown color at the bottom. They're still vibrant green at the top, and we've got this pine next to it, and so we've got the, uh, the pine just dropping into the top of the frame, uh, the vibrant greens in the lower bit of the frame, and we've got a nice dark background. We haven't got anything particularly bright in the background to take your eye away so it looks it looks nice I'm going to shoot this back clip So it's a fairly simple shot. Just looking up, because the sky's so blue, it's a really nice contrast with the uh, oak leaves that are going over with their lovely sort of orangey browny colors. So yeah, just fairly simple really.
to finish up tonight i want to just finish this roll off um, the light is pretty much going at sunsets in about 10 minutes the sky's not looking too bad it, it may it may color up quite nicely there's some fairly low cloud which may cut it out but there's some nice bands of cloud and some nice shapes in the clouds so i've decided to just basically just stick with the sky and go for a silhouette picture so i've picked a nice tree it's got a nice bit of shape to it uh, i'm not too bothered if it has no detail because i know it's going to be a silhouette i'm going more for the sky if the sky works it might work okay if it doesn't well never mind So slightly different format doing this sort of photo walk. I just wanted to get out and use my uh, medium format camera, put a roll of portrait 400 through it and just have a look at the results. I quite enjoyed the photo walk, but I, f I felt like it sort of kind of fizzled out towards the end. The sunset didn't happen. So that was a bit meh. And um, I actually found that because I was, I was carrying quite a bit of weight, I'm trying to do some training for some long distance walking uh, coming up. And um, so I want to be carrying a bit of weight on, so I've been going out and doing some sort of training walks. So I carry quite a lot with me at the moment. And uh, I found that actually taking Barney with me, once I came, came out of those woods, I had to cross quite a lot of um, farmer's fields with sheep in. So I had to kind of put him back on the lead and then carrying the two tripods and having to pack everything up and unpack it was just a bit of a faff so I kind of gave up on it and I just ended up just sort of almost going through the motions and you know there was there's nothing stunning there but um, I just wanted to kind of see how it how it sort of um, how it panned out with using the film it's a really portrait's really good in daylight for daylight situations and it's got uh, a big latitude there's a lot of dynamic range there so it's good for contrasty situations as well and um, you know it's pretty hard to overexpose and blow out the highlights so I was trying to sort of keep uh, as much shadow detail as I could and the portrait has been really good to scan I, I scan everything on my Epson V850 uh, flatbed scanner and I try and just get a really good um, uh, flat scan I don't add any contrast play about colors tone curves anything like that with the scan try and just try and keep all the information there like a raw file uh, not clipping any of the shadows or highlights so just keep it as a really flat scan and then basically get it into Photoshop and I the only thing I do is I add um, a couple of adjustment layers on there. So the first one is a levels layer. I open each uh, red, green and blue channel and I just bring the slider in for the shadows just so it's hitting the clipping stage. Do the same with the highlights, just bring it in. Just And if you hold down the Alt key, you can see exactly where that is, where those clippings are going to happen. And uh, do that for each channel and then you find that the colors just look really good from there. Those nice, creamy, subtle colors that Portra's known for. Um, and then after that, I usually do a curves layer. So I just put a little S curve in, just gives it a little bit more punch, a little bit more contrast. But apart from that, I haven't really been doing anything. So normally I would do my adjustments in Lightroom for my digital stuff and I um, play around with the colors. And I, f I find that, you know, with the digital files, you get very good resolution and you get very good dynamic range and everything kind of looks sharp and punchy and the colors really pop. So 
Um, working with film is different, um, especially, you know, the portrait. I'm just going for those soft, muted tones because I, I don't want it to look like digital. Um, I want it to look like film. So by, you know, going through this digital process, of putting it through a scanner, um, I'm still trying to keep those qualities that are there for portrait. Um, so yeah, I'm not really adding anything else to the scans I'm doing. Everything I've put on there is basically a levels adjustment, a curves adjustment, and I do, yes, I do put a high pass uh, filter for the sharpening, uh, which just gives it a little bit of extra uh, sharpness there, just to bring out those little details. But apart from that, yeah, no kind of gradient filters or anything like that. Um, I don't really want to keep messing about with stuff too much. Uh, if you were actually kind of eagle-eyed, are you supposed to get 10 shots on a roll of 120 at that particular format, 6x7? And I only actually shot 8 as I was going along. Uh, unfortunately, when I processed the roll the next day, I found that I had um, just tripped the shutter and got a blank, uh, a blank frame out of it, so uh, there was one less there. And so I decided with the last frame that I had, um, after I hadn't shot the whole roll, I got a shot of Barney. So I'll stick him up now. You can never have enough pictures of your dog. Anyway, so um, thanks for getting to the end. Um, I really appreciate all the comments and uh, support I've had uh, since I've been uh, running this channel this year and I know a lot of you have come because of the film and uh, I will be continuing that and uh, I will keep it kind of film orientated. I do shoot both so but I will sort of try and keep the film going so please leave any comments, any suggestions, anything you think I kind of need to do or haven't been doing. It's all good. I'll try and get back to you. So I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.